Welcome to this first tutorial video teaching how to use the free and open source software Aegisub to add subtitles to a custom video that you have or maybe a movie that you've downloaded. So this is a great free software. It works on Windows, Linux, and Mac. And in this video I'll show you how to uh, import a video or get your video in here and start adding some subtitles to a video that does not yet have subtitles. In future videos, we'll also look at uh, timing existing subtitles. So if you already have a transcript and you want to time those to a video, we'll show how to do that. Um, it's a great software for uh, creating subtitles in a different language. So maybe a, a video that's in Chinese and it doesn't yet have English subtitles. Uh, this would be a great software for adding English subtitles and timing them uh, to that video. You can also use it for your YouTube videos, but I will say that YouTube does have a really good subtitling um, algorithm software that they will uh, that you can use on your on your videos to automatically uh, detect what you're saying in the video and add subtitles. So if you're just you wanting to use software like this for your YouTube videos, you might just want to look into what they have because it, it's probably a little bit easier uh, to use the YouTube interface than this software. But what this software Aegisub does give you is great control, a much greater control over uh, uh, those subtitles, um, over the styling and how they appear and whatnot. So to get started in this in this actual video, we're going to just open up a video to add subtitles to. So I have a video here on my computer. It's like a, a life history, life sketch interview, and it does not yet have subtitles. And so when we open up the video, we have two things. I think by default you may have this view. We can click this button here to toggle between how we view the audio file. And then uh, over on the left hand side is the actual video. And we have a couple different playheads. We can play down here and play the video. We learn swimming every day. We, well, yes. we can also play over here and play just the audio portion without the video. We learn swimming every day. We well, down, this uh, down here at the bottom is where the subtitles are. We have a start and end. So the subtitle actually appears on the screen. So if I just type in test right here, we see we have this test will appear from zero to five seconds. And it's actually there, it's really small, you can hardly see it. Um, so to change the size, we'll just click on edit. And we can change this to maybe 200 and go apply. And we see that test appears. Maybe 100 is a good size for this particular video. And so we'll hit OK. So now test will appear, but it'll only be there um, for the first five seconds of the video, and after that five seconds, it will go away. Um, what we can do, so if we don't want this test to be here, we can right click and go delete lines. And I actually have um, some of this video already, uh, a transcript that I've already kind of typed up the first um, 30 seconds or so of the video. I can highlight this whole thing and go to right click, and go to copy, and then I can come down here and go to right click and go to paste lines. I can also do Control Z and Control V on my keyboard to do that. But now I have all these lines um, for this video. Um, it shows it at zero, zero. So this first line here is what she's saying, but it's not appearing yet because we need to time it with the video. And to do that, we see this vertical line here. We have a blue line. Uh, we have some purple lines that we don't need to pay attention to right now. But the if we right click with our mouse, we can move this blue line. There's also a red line, it's kind of hard to see, it's at zero, zero, but if we left click, it'll move the red line. So left clicking on the mouse is the red, right clicking is the blue, and it sort of creates a little green shaded area of that part that's selected. So what we want to try and do is line up these words. The first line is, we went swimming every day. So we want to find that, it's probably this first part here. So if we left click and get our red line selected, and then we right click, we can listen to what's being said here by just clicking play. We learn swimming every day. We so perfect. We, uh, that we maybe cut it off a little bit. We learn swimming every day. So that's the part that says we went swimming every day. And we have it selected. So to actually change this here, we can't really click down here and change. What we want to do is uh, click this checkbox. Commit any pending audio timing changes. So this is like what we've kind of told it that we're thinking we want this line to be. We went swimming every day. If we click this checkbox, now all of a sudden it changes the timing. So from 0.3 seconds to 1.82 seconds, it's going to dis display we went swimming every day on the video. We went swimming every day. We walk down the street. And then it disappears. So the next part, we'll just click on this next line and we see it appears in here. So if we wanted to add any text, we can do that right here. And it will show down here. It will also show on the video. 
Actually, a better way to show you that would be to go back to this first line. So if we click on the first line, we went swimming every day, and we add in some text here, it'll actually appear on this video. Whoop, that's a little bit too much. So each line we can edit individually. We can add lines. We can right click and go to um, insert line after. And we can have a, a new line and type in you know, some more text. But here we get this kind of red because these are kind of overlapping. So what it's saying is this is going to want to be the new part. So we need to find this next part. We'd uh, walk down to the swimming hole and go swimming. So we need to find that part of the audio. We went swimming every day. We'd walk down. So it started about right here is where she started saying weed, uh, like we we would, <laughs> and then um, maybe it ended here. I'm not quite sure. We'd walk down the swimming. We'd walk down to the swimming. Let's go here. We'd walk down the swimming. How old is that? Yeah, so it's about uh, right there. So we have this, and so we can now commit this to change this time. We click this green check uh, check mark, and now it commits that change. So now it's going to, if we we can watch what this looks like from the beginning. We went swimming every day. We walk oh, down we, the we have a problem. That test test needs to go away. So I'll right click on that line and go to delete lines. Just that it'll delete just that line that was causing us some trouble. We went swimming every day. We walked down the swimming. How old your swimming is that? So there you have it. Um, and then we can we can time every line. So we can go to the next line, do the same thing. But just remember, left click will create the red uh, that red line, which is where the text will start to be uh, displayed on the video. Right click will create the blue line, which is where the text will stop being. And to commit that change, we just click this green check mark. I'm not going to go in any further in this video, but check out the next one. We'll learn about uh, styling and changing the text and manipulating it. We can move it around, do all kinds of different things. Um, so check out the next tutorial for that. We'll see you in the next one.